In this video, we'll be talking about the projection of vectors. The projection of w onto v is the portion of the vector w that goes in the direction of the vector v. Let's try to illustrate what I mean here. Let's say I have the vector v like this, and let's say I have a vector w like this. Now the vector w can be broken down into two components. A portion that goes in the direction of v, like this, and a portion that's orthogonal to v, like this. So this purple vector is what we call the projection of w onto v. So let's try to find this purple vector. First, let's try to find its length. In our picture here, we have a right triangle. And we know that the hypotenuse is the length of w. Now let me label the angle between v and w theta. From trigonometry, we know that cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So we can say that the length of this purple vector, the length of the projection of w onto v, is equal to the length of w times the cosine of theta. The right side of this equation looks almost like the equation for the dot product of v and w. What's missing is the length of v. So what I'm going to do is multiply on the right hand side by the length of v divided by the length of v. Reordering some of the terms here, we have the length of v times the length of w times cosine of the angle between them divided by the length of v. From the theorem in our last video, we know that the numerator here can be rewritten as v dot w. So we have that this is v dot w divided by the length of v. So the projection of w onto v has length v dot w divided by the length of v. Now we just need to express this projection as a vector. Note that a vector that goes in the direction of v with length 1 is v divided by the length of v. Because if we take any vector and scale it by 1 over its length, then the resulting vector would have length 1. With that in mind, we have that the projection of w onto v is equal to v dot w divided by the length of v times v divided by the length of v. First of all, we know that this vector has the right length. Because here I have a vector with length 1, and when I scale it by this amount, the resulting vector would have length v dot w divided by the length of v, which is what we want. Now this expression we can write as v dot w divided by the length of v squared times the vector v. And this can be rewritten as v dot w divided by v dot v all of this times the vector v. So we know our vector has the right length, but now we also know that it has the right direction, because here we have a scalar times the vector v. So of course it goes in the direction of v. So again, the projection of w onto v is given by v dot w divided by v dot v times the vector v. So let's now look at some examples. In our first example here, we have the vector v with entries negative 1, 5, and w with entries 2, 3. And we're asked to find the projection of w onto v. So according to our formula, the projection of w onto v is equal to v dot w divided by v dot v times the vector v. So v dot w would be negative 1 times 2 plus 5 times 3 divided by v dot v. So that's negative 1 times negative 1, so that's negative 1 squared, plus 5 times 5, or 5 squared. All of this times the vector v, negative 1, 5. Simplifying this, we have 13 on top and 26 on the bottom times negative 1, 5. 13 over 26 is 1 half, so that's 1 half times negative 1, 5. And if we multiply this scalar into the vector, I get negative 1 half 
five halves. So that's the projection of W onto V. In our next example here, V is the vector 1, 4, 5, and W is negative 2, 1, 2. So again, the projection of W onto V is V dot W divided by V dot V times the vector V. So V dot W is 1 times negative 2 plus 4 times 1 plus 5 times 2 divided by V dot V. So that's 1 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. All of this times the vector V, 1, 4, 5. Simplifying this, we have 12 over 42 times the vector 1, 4, 5, which is 2 sevenths times 1, 4, 5. That means that my vector is 2 sevenths, 8 sevenths, and 10 sevenths. So that's the projection of W onto V. That's it for this video. In our next video, we'll talk about cross products.